and I, but I, 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 our, our spiritual man, which is uh, being an example of the banana and the fruits, is what's good for us. And our flesh always wants what's bad for us. That's why Paul is saying, every time I want to eat that fruit, but evil is always present. Somebody just say, evil is always present. And we want, <laughs> we have our flesh. And our flesh wants to go through everything that God says that we're not supposed to do. That's why we have to stay prayed up. Because our flesh have certain desires that God doesn't want us to do. Uh, there's a constant battle that we battle 24-7 between these two, these flesh and the spirit. And young folks, I want to be real with y'all. Sometimes, being a Christian, you are going to fall. Paul in this Bible, he was already saved. But before before Paul was Paul, he was Saul, and he was a Christian killer. But he had an experience on the Damascus Road where he was saved, and that was filled with the Holy Ghost. So you can turn from that stuff. Don't let the church folks tell you that uh, uh, they try to. Sometimes church folks have a mask on. I preached this last Sunday, and they don't tell folks who they really are. We come in with a mask on, and we come in one way, but turn, but but these six days of the week, we act as somebody totally different. But God only wants your best. We are fighting between these two 24 7. And if you don't believe me, you even had dreams or desires or loves going on in your mind when you were fighting in those dreams. And have you ever had a dream to where you were you were you were in a fight and you tried to you know, you tried to hit that, hit that person or fight that thing, but you couldn't. You are fighting in your mind and in your dreams. 24 7. Even our bodies were fighting. And if we are real, some of us have seen after we were saved. That's what Paul says in this scripture. We got both darkness and light inside of us. That's why we got to stay prayed up, y'all. And, and, and I want to tell y'all something. This week, I see it. And uh, I, I, I try, try not to. Uh -huh. But on my job, yeah, uh -huh. y'all know most y'all know I'm a school teacher. Amen. And there was a colleague uh -huh. that said something to me yeah. um, about my students. Yeah. And at this time, I had to go somewhere else. And I had a previous, another engagement that I got permission to go to. Amen. And the colleague had to take my children, Amen. which they do anyway if I'm not there. Yeah. And they said something stupid. Y'all know I can't see real well, but my ears can hear everything you say. Right. So I went, I, I, I heard it, but I said, I can't say nothing because, you know, you know, I want to try to let my light shine, like I preached. And it's sometimes the sermons that I preached end up testing me that same week. <laughs> you know, Pastor Brother, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And so he said somebody said, no, nah, I'm going to let it go, I'm going to let it go, I'm going to let it go, I'm going to let it go. Went back, came back to the school at the end, and I came to get my children. And uh, uh, they were ha I had them lined up in the hallway, yo, quietly on the second child, like the rules say. Uh -huh. Colleague came back, uh-uh, 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 you, you got to get another class. You gotta get, and I said, and my mind said, hold up, wait a minute, who do you think you're talking to? All right, all right. And uh, 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 I let it go. I said, no, nah, I'm taking my class. Uh -huh. He said, no, nah, you're going to get another class today. And something came out, y'all, within me. My voice got real deep, and I got real loud, and I said something I shouldn't have said. I can't get no church in here. Y'all act like y'all never said nothing y'all ever say before. But I said this, and, 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 and you know, everybody was in the hallway. All the students, the teachers, and the teachers, eyes like this, y'all. The kids, <laughs> the moms even listen. The kids, eyes like this because nobody ever saw me this way. They saw the other side that I thought that was gone. But how many, how many of you know that sometimes folks in the world will try to test you and sometimes you fall to that temptation? I can't get no help in here. And this morning I, I tried, and that morning I tried to stay. I didn't have time to pray. I got up late that morning, rushed to work. I didn't have no time to, to pray. And that's one thing you got to do. You got to stay prayed up. You say, Lord, I'm trying my best, but I'm trying to stay prayed up and in a word with you. Sometimes it don't happen. Sometimes we fall short and do things that don't represent Christ. But somebody just say, Lord, I'm trying my best. It amazes me that even through my faults, 
God still uses you and I. God could have killed you at any point in your life. God could not have spared you. He could have taken you before you were even saved and destined for hell. Have I got a witness in here? And that's why he extends, I'm so glad that he extends grace and mercy. Grace is God giving you what you don't deserve. And mercy is God withholding you what you, uh, uh, holding what you do deserve. I do deserve to be in hell for what I did. But, 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 but Paul said, what wretched man I am. God knows that we have faults. God knows that we go through things. God knows that's why he sent his son named Jesus. Got to stay in the word and essentially we are no good but God still uses us. That's why wretched man, Paul says wretched man I am. Meaning deeply afflicted. I'm dejected. I'm distressed in my body. I got all of these things going on, but God still decides to use me. Just tell your name, but God can use you. Tell your name, but God can use you. Paul cries out, saying, who will rescue me from this body of death? Who can, and, it's, and, and what he is saying is, who can rescue me from me? Who can rescue you from yourself? Because if you want to be real, if God turned you over to yourself and your sin, you would go to hell. I can't get no help in here. I can't get no help in here. That's why Pastor Funderburg always says, thank God for Jesus. How many of y'all thankful for God in here? You thankful for, 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 for him sending his son named Jesus to die on an old rugged cross to save us to give us grace and mercy. Somebody just say, yes, Lord. There are a few people, and if you look in your Bible, you will see some people that are not perfect. Noah was drunk. Abraham didn't wait on the promise of God. David committed adultery and had another wife husband killed. Peter denied Jesus. Thomas doubted Jesus. Peter denied Jesus. Judas betrayed Jesus. James didn't believe that she sinned against Jesus. Is there anybody in here that can say, God, I thank you for sending Jesus who died on an old rugged cross on one Friday evening for us. Somebody see yes, that you walk up to that cross. They hung him high. They stretched him around. Listen to me.